Okay, so today I'm going to actually make this out of balloons, so take a look. Um, let's see what we can do. So, what I'm going to start with, I maybe made this one not as inflated as I should, but you see what I've done here. I've left a, a fair amount. What is that? So this is a 160 and it's more than my hand, more than a fist. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do here is make a little bubble. Um, and then I'm going to make chunks that are about this length here. Mm, something like that. Now try to be as consistent as you can. And so, so I'm going to start with five of the, or four of the bigger bubbles. Like that. And then I'm going to introduce another equally inflated balloon. So a little bubble. Then a bigger one. And then a bigger one. And now here, I'm going to finally get to twist them off. Okay? And then I'm going to take that and let it go. And I'm going to continue making similarly sized bubbles. So same with each balloon, little guy, and then bigger, bigger, and then tie it off and let it go. And then I'm going to complete this with moving this one to here and then wrapping it around and letting it go. And so what I end up with then is this. I have essentially a hexagon here where each one has these little ends that I had three now uninflated bubbles and then I've got the rest. The key is to have a hexagon even though it doesn't look like a hexagon. Now you continue on with each bump balloon and so you make a one and then a similarly, two similarly sized bubbles, two, three, and let's connect it up to the other thing here. And why don't we put it through our hex and then around here. And so we're going to do this with every single uh, um, balloon. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more here, the one I just finished, and my white one, I'm going to have it go around this one first and then to this central balloon here. And then make a triangle with the original ones here. And once again, I'm going to stick that through the middle. Now, this is an, this is a, I'll admit, it's a complicated step. And so, um, I'm actually going to continue with that white one. And now start off with this blue. So that's the one. and then down to the middle. And then through the original hexagon and another one here. Now, it's totally symmetric except for this blue one. And so you have to make a, an extra one here and then put it through that triangle you made. Okay, so watch what happens when I do that. I pull it through this triangle that I made. And now we have something that is very symmetrical. Right? Now that's the toughest part. Um, when you're using 260s like I normally do, uh, this is um, more difficult and that step of pulling through a triangle is, is less fun. Okay? Anyway, so now, now what you want to do is you want to start reintroducing those bubbles you already did 
Okay, and so I'm gonna position these so that now they have five points here. So there's your five points, five points. And then you're going to take the blue, say, and go to the other color here and put that bubble back in. And then here, you're gonna go right over to the pink and you are going to uh, go down like that. And now you're gonna continue the same thing with the pink. One, reintroduce this white. Go around, and then the same thing. Go to the, the, the long white one and down. And so then with the white, you do the same. You make this bubble. Reintroduce this blue one here. And then unfortunately here, you've got to go down. And now this one's going to take a, a little bit of a push. Um, and if you want, if you feel the urge, you can try to go through the center. Now with a 260 you can, but with, a, with this 160 is pretty easy. But then you go down here. And so you're left with these three things on top that are going to make a triangle, and then these things here. So we've done the sort of the belt of this thing, and so now you just similarly now make another bubble, push it through, and then do the pink, push it through there. And so since I've got this connection already made, I'm just going to push that bubble inside. And now I'm going to go with the white. Ooh, lots left over with the white, eh? Push it around. And then here. I've got lots left over. I could choose to pop this, but I'm just going to stick it inside. And then the final step on this side is to make a little, little bubble here. And finally push that over there. And so that side is done. And so you can sort of see how that was made. And then finally, we just have to do that with this side. And so you just reintroduce this bubble, push it inside, reintroduce this bubble, push it inside, and then finally reintroduce this bubble. Or Maybe I'll just use some knot since there's not much left on that one. And then a little bit of massaging. And just to make all of the connections look the same. But essentially, there you have the icosahedron. Okay, that's my alarm going off. But what's nice about this design, if you use different colors, you can see that every vertex has two, two, and one. So, it's a tough design. For the beginner in this, I would suggest stick with my, um, what do you call it? My two-headed snake design. I think that one's much, much easier for a lot of these things. Um, anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Good luck. Cheers.